So one of my friends told me about it and I'm like, what? So I was like, I went down the rabbit hole and I started reading this book called Will I Ever Be Good Enough by Carol McBride. And uh, let me show it to you. I'm actually certified um, to help daughters go through this program. Uh, so Will I Ever Be Good Enough by Carol McBride? This is a book that I read. And she has a checklist here uh, about narcissism and like if your mother did all these things to you. And narcissism is on a spectrum. So just because she doesn't have NPDs doesn't mean that she has um, she doesn't have narcissistic traits. OK, so maybe she may lack empathy. She may be envious of you. She may be entitled. Those are all traits of narcissism. Those are three traits. And, you know, your mother may have them. And for a lot of these mothers, it becomes a personality because they had to create a false self from a very young age. They had less, less freedom of expression. They had less avenues to really go to and be heard as a kid. Like I said, these are not, um, this is not to say that what they do is okay. It's just to give you an idea as to why they may do these things. This is all it took for me to be like, okay, there's nothing wrong with me. But now what can I do to work on myself? Okay. When I read this book, I was... I went through all the stages of grief. When you heal your mother wound, you're going to go through all the stages of grief. And that's if you allow it. Because if you don't allow it, then you just stay stuck at a very immature age. Like, that's the reality. Like, if you still want your mother to, like, be this person that she's not, then you're still waiting for her to be that mother, that fantasy mother. And more than likely, it's not going to happen. So it's really about letting that go, that fantasy and releasing it and grieving your losses, because that's what you're going to be doing. You're going to grieve your innocence, your losses, your childhood, all that stuff. And the more you uh, deny it, the more that you push against it, you know, the more symptoms you're going to have, the more relationship issues you're going to have, um, the more self-hate, the more shame, um, all that stuff, right? So this is what it took for me to really... Um, start moving forward and working on myself. And like I said, I had my husband on my side. I had my husband uh, as my support person. If you're going to do this work, you need a support person, whether it's a coach. I coach women um, when it comes to healing this wound. Uh, if you have a therapist also, you know, uh, a loved one who is committed to your mental health, somebody because you need a template of like what a relationship could look like. Somebody that's not going to um, show you or replay the same dynamic with read this book. I'm like, I got to move forward. I did all the exercises in there. And like, I went through all of it. So 